So most of y'all are used to seeing, oop, so much for that, used to seeing non-scale stuff on, on our channel, endurance planes and the like. Sorry, I'm trying to put the nose block, ah, forget it, we'll just have it be dangly. Uh, but anyway, you're used to seeing non-scale stuff on this channel, and today we're going to fly something that is scale, at least in theory. So this is a dime scale BAT monoplane. BAT stands for British Aerial Torpedo. There's a pilot, Aerial Torpedo. So the story is that supposedly BAT built a series of what we'll call drones during World War I. Um, might call them guided missiles uh, since the intent was to, you know, uh, fly a warhead to a target. Uh, but anyway, apparently some of them survived World War I, or something of that nature, somewhere in that timeline, and some of them were converted to manned airplanes, supposedly. I have seen photos that purport to be this, but uh, as to whether all of that actually really came together, I don't know. But I spent the time to build this from the Al Backstrom plan uh, many years ago and um even has a little nice rigging i don't know how well the rigging shows up on camera but there is rigging there and it came out halfway decently um as did the really nice silver tissue on that turtle deck i guess that's actually the more the, the cowling and whatnot but anyway if you look at the front it looks much less good because I recovered it there after I blew a motor in the plane and peeled back the nose pretty good. Anyway, there's plenty of controversy that surrounded this plane over its lifetime uh, as to its legality for competition and so on. Not all of that uh, due to the scale issue, some of it due to changing rules. This is why I don't fly scale competitively anymore is because I got tired of the rules changes. That's just the way it is. I don't fly scale anymore because the rules changes got old. Anyway, I still have scale models that I dabble with now and then um, because they're fun. Anyway, we're out here to fly this one, and with all that set aside, let's enjoy some of the flying of it. It's a very simple airplane. You can get a short kit from ValerProducts.com. We'll have a link down in the description. You can enjoy that. It's powered by a loop of 1 8 with a propeller that I carved myself from a Scale Flight Model Company propeller blank, and I'm sorry you cannot get those anymore. They were a product of Penn Valley Hobby Center, which no longer exists. It was an awesome, awesome company. Um, a lot of my early, uh, early rubber power stuff I got from them. Um, great folks, and, and unfortunately long since gone. Uh, but anyway, you can still make your own carved propeller, or you can just use one of the ones from our store or from Valer Products. I think they carry similar propellers. Uh, so very simple, braided loop of 1 8 That's really all there is to it. Uh, fairly easy plane to trim. I did put a clear plastic extension on the fin because mine wallows a bit in flight, uh, and that took away some of that tendency. Uh, but this is a design that's won many contests over the years for, uh, for dime scale, and uh, even golden age scale, I think. So anyway, let's do some flying.
No, oh, may not get this one back this time. It's flirted with thermals before. Almost out of juice, thank goodness. Maybe it'll fall out of it. Ah, oh, dangly nose. That's hilarious. Oh, we're diving out. That's hilarious. Hopefully it doesn't break itself too bad when it hits. Ouch. Alright. Ha! Huh. Nice. Everything's good. Let's fly it again. Spot the airplane. Right there. Right there. You know, it barely shows up, but it's there right under that vine. Hiding.
Oops, caught it by the rigging. Come on. Well, I hope you all have enjoyed this little flying session with the DAT monoplane and have enjoyed seeing it flirting with the thermals a little bit. Uh, sorry the nose block keeps falling out, but um, that's because I need to braid the motor a little more tightly and then that'll go away. But I'm not really inclined to do that right now because I probably would have lost it on, uh, at least on that one flight, if that had not been the case. So anyway, we'll see you around. Check out the kit. Um, from Valera Products and uh, and enjoy flying. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.